because people will see that you actually know what you're talking about. It will push your post in your algorithm because again, they have to stay longer at your post. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on my channel. My name is Sessa and for today's video, I'm going to show you what for kind of content is very, very popular at the moment. What for kind of content will gain you followers, grow your Instagram and it's 2020. So a lot of people have been very active on social media more than ever before. And yeah, I just put a little list together on the content, what really works and what not really works and why that is. So first of all, the content on Instagram really has shifted a lot since the first day I started Instagram. It's been growing and growing and the content is very different because normally it was just putting out there what you want to show and now it's really creating content to eventually post it online. And that's a huge difference because now people really have a lot of thoughts on it but also put a lot of thoughts in it and that makes that the content which you will see online from the influencers are so well thought so uh, explicit so so manufactured almost and yeah I mean it's totally normal if you post something online where you have put a whole content calendar and a whole uh, concept on that one particular post because that's what we want to see. So my first tip for creating content is the swipe function on your post. Uh, there are two reasons for it. First of all, yes, there is more room to show. Uh, normally it was all about one picture and that was it, that was great, or just one video, but now you can post one picture which is really good for your feed and then you swipe and then you see all the other content which is great because you can show more there is a, you can use larger campaigns it's great the other thing which is really good is that it pushes your algorithm i do have to disclaim i'm not really sure but what i've been told is that people have to stay longer on your post because they have to swipe and the longer you are on someone's post the engagement is longer and basically the algorithm pushes your picture more and that's what you want because otherwise you're not gonna grow because no one else will order see it so yeah it's great. So the second tip might sound a little easy, but it's true. Putting yourself on the first picture of your post works amazingly. I have tried to do a great feed for such a long time and it works, but the problem was the pictures were in between. What looks good on the feed, it didn't work as a singular post. So people will not like it. People will not engage with it. Then the algorithm will not push your post. And then eventually you will not gain more followers, which is essentially what you want, right? So um, yeah, I decided to quit with that feed and now I started to do quite a lot of pictures of myself with different kind of content obviously and it works like the engagement is such more than I expected it to be uh, I got more uh, likes I have more engagement people will comment on my pictures and I see uh, or I see that my followers will gain as well so put yourself at least at the first picture because you have the swipe function so you can do some other content after it but the first picture makes sure you will be seen and then it's all about the story of the picture because i decided to put some more effort in my descriptions and it works i see that a lot of people will keep on staying at my post because they will read it they're more interested they understand why i posted the content i posted and then eventually hopefully they will engage with me because i would put down a question or i will tell a story and then people will react to that so yes obviously a picture says more than a thousand words but if you add some words what really has a meaning then at least they will engage with that as well so i think it will push your algorithm uh, or it will push your post in your algorithm because again they have to stay longer at your post but uh, i think people will more appreciate the fact that when you post something and you put quite a lot of effort in your description then they know that you're serious about it and then well, they're most likely to put some effort in your comment section. So then another thing, what I thought was really cool is that they add the reels. So we all know TikTok, but I don't want to go from one platform to another one. So now you have reels on Instagram, which is basically the same as TikTok. But what a lot of people do is they put on their pic or their outfits they want to show off and then they make some videos of it. Outfit reels are really great content because 
since I see them so much, it means it is really popular. People wear more, or you can ask like what for kind of product or what for kind of um, outfit do you like the most and then they will engage with you and then they see that you put some effort in your videos then they're most likely to go to your page and then they see your other content and then they will follow you and again that's what we want so um, a great thing to do is when you're really into fashion is create some little videos um, and then post, post it in your Instagram reel I don't know about you, but I very often in my Instagram TV have a commercial where someone is talking about marketing. Well, I mean, we have to say this is literally a marketing video as well, but it seems to that a lot of people like and enjoy these videos. So what they do is they make those content and then also post it on the um, platform it's meant to be for so yeah i am making a video about instagram posted on youtube but i also could post this on instagram like what i would probably would do is make a little video of this video and then post it on my igtv but what a lot of people do if they're not active on youtube is they create a video like this and then they will upload it on their instagram tv that's a great way to get to gain more followers gain more uh, engagements because people will see that you actually know what you're talking about and um it's it's content you can sit quite a lot of time for because you can post quite a few minutes on your instagram tv and it's it's special um people are really really interested on how will they gain more followers so if you make a video about marketing that's great i understand that you're watching this video so that would be a little weird if you're going to make a video about uh, marketing but it is what it works but what you also can do is just create tutorials and create Instagram or YouTube content for your IGTV. That works fine as well. So if you have an idea to put on your YouTube channel, but you realize that you're more of an Instagram person, why not just make videos for Instagram? And then we have the before and after pictures. Uh, that can be in very different variations. So what if you lost weight, then great. You can show it, you can tell your story and you can show how hard you've been working on it. But if it's not that, you can also do some before and after, like this is me in the morning, no makeup, blah, 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 and then post you in full glam. You can also do something with your hair when you just went to the hairdresser. Um, you can make some DIYs and then like this is before and this is after. You can do all of those things, but oh, but before and after pictures are really, really popular. I find that I always look it up myself because I really like to see what it was and then how it can be because that means that I gain more inspiration and Insta Instagram Instagram is really a great platform to gain some more inspiration and motivation and personally with those before and after pictures that's exactly what I get from it so I think that's why a lot of other people will get it as well so if you want to have more engagement and if you want to have some more likes and content then you can create those before and after pictures oh my god and then obviously I have a lot of more tips, but before I'm going to end this video, I have one tip left and that's using your Instagram stories. I love Instagram stories. Um, sure, I love to watch vlogs, but then I know that whenever I'm going to comment, there is this whole big video where I can comment on. So I'm not going to write an essay on your vlog, but I'm not also not going to create one little comment about one little thing because I've seen the whole video. What happens with Instagram stories is so easy. You can just take out your phone, make a little Instagram story, then you can engage right away because you can comment on it, just add that little part. You can put a poll on it, you can put a question on it. Uh, you can be very interactive with your followers while you're going through the day. And I think it's amazing. Like I love to watch those rather than I watch vlogs afterwards because I wanna engage with someone. And as soon as someone says like, hi, okay, so I'm going to this event and I'm okay well it's corona so no one is going to any event but um 
yeah, if I, I'm going somewhere and I need to have an outfit, like what for kind of outfit should I do? And then they show like, these are the two outfits I have in mind. And then you can put on a poll and then maybe someone will pick that outfit. And then they're going through the day with that outfit because a lot of followers thought that would be cute on you. So I thought that it was such an interesting and uh, great opportunity to show your day. Also know that you can just put some bullshit on it as well because you know about three years no one will go and see it because it's just there for 24 hours at least is someone not going to make screen record of it but like i mean so um yeah i love instagram stories you can use it very well obviously it's not to gain more followers um but it is to gain more engagement with your following uh yeah, with your followers so what happens whenever i see someone posting instagram pictures i'm like okay cool cool great you i mean i follow you i like you that's it but as soon as i see someone like making videos of themselves and make this instagram story then i really feel like i'm engaging with someone and that's what you want to have like you want to have a steady following that they're not gonna unfollow you you have to keep them interested in yourself and instagram stories are a great way so there's that all right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I know you've been away for quite some time, but I'm back and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna know more about video photography, marketing and all of that, please let me know in the comments what do you wanna see from me. So, bye.